Hello everyone and welcome back to my Beyond History series in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3 and in this episode we're beginning with the launch of the Jovian Demon which is supposed to help tug things around the Jupiter system and with the Delta V figures we've got here it's readily apparent to me that we are going to need to use the Nerva in order to get this over to Jupiter because I don't see the Delta V for that otherwise and it's only a Fiji 11 so not a big surprise there. So we'll get this to orbit, but we actually need to rendezvous with the Nerva, or at least plan to. So let's see about that. Okay, throttle down, KOS, and figure out which core is on top. So we'll have to send up the Nerva refueler as well. This is all very complicated, these Jupiter missions. <laughs> Uh huh. Well, um, we didn't get ignition on the F1 for some reason. Hmm. Well, I guess we have an abort and a rollback situation. Good thing my launch script doesn't try and stage the clamps unless there's enough thrust coming from the engine, huh? But. Oh well. Recover active vessel. Shouldn't be. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, well, the Jovian Demon was recovered. I think we'll send up the Nerva Refueler first, then, and then send Jove Port 1. Though Jove Port 1 might be able to transfer directly without the Nerva, we'll see. But let's do the whole Nerva refueling thing first. Okay, sorry, I was trying to find the launch script and accidentally pressed spacebar outside of it. So, we've launched. T today's been an uh, awkward day, I have to say. So, this is the version of the Rhombus with uh, four RS-25s. So, we'll see how this goes. And it's not gone well already because I don't think... Are we going to be in line with the... Okay, actually we're good on the whole launching to our target part of it. That's good. Uh, considering we had to spend time to roll back the previous launch, it's a totally lucky thing that we have such a low relative inclination to the Nerva. I do need to keep track of these outer fuel tanks to know when to jettison them. Okay, I guess time to go. Ow. Okay, well, we're gonna be cutting it close, it looks like, if the Delta V reading there is correct right now. Probably we'll need the payload to finish orbit and everything, but it's tough to figure things out right now. I think I need to just go straight flat, because we've only got two minutes in this stage. Also, I have to make sure that we have some hydrogen left over to come back down with. This stage has to be recoverable. Let's get the radiators on right now before we lose any of our fuel. Well, let's keep an eye on this tank. Hopefully, I put some surplus hydrogen. I had better have. Okay, well, I don't think I did, looking at that. But we'll, we'll take what we got there. And we've got some time to apoapsis to sort everything out. Waiting for the game. Looks like we need about 400 meters per second to make orbit. Separation. Okay. Uh, flip around time. Okay igniting our nuclear engines that we want to bring back down safely eventually I still want the Nerva as our target well these are no Nervas they've only got 40 kilonewtons so it takes a long time to make orbit with them and there we go I'll take that for now. 
and let's hop back to the other part of the mission and rescue it. Okay, so I wish we had put spare hydrogen, but at least we have some hydrogen. That's good. Um, gonna arm all the chutes right now. Well, we seem to be coming down right over a bunch of islands here. Um, that doesn't look like a, a Hawaii configuration. Let's see... Ah! Uh, Cape Verde Islands, maybe? No. Are they? Well, anyway, islands off the coast of Africa here. And we've been pretty well balanced. It has taken a chunk of liquid hydrogen to keep us that way with the RCS thrusters, but they haven't had a problem. And the blader is good. G-forces are serious. Well, looking good. So nice, it was a mere transatlantic flight for this stage. We did have to dump eight uh, fuel tanks, but no engines. All engines come back. We were actually carrying way too much electric charge. Maybe we can cut down on that. It's not a huge mass, but, you know, just on principle. Okay, down to 6.4 meters per second. Splash down. And hopefully it'll stay in that stable configuration. Recover. Okay, a little bit of science for recovering it. 37,000 funds. Obviously no crew. Unfortunately, we're not bringing it back to the KSC, so we lose some value there because of that. Anyway, on with the rendezvous with the Nerva Refueler. Okay, the 3 degree difference is going to cost us 431 meters per second, but after that I think that the rendezvous will be fairly, fairly easy. Hopefully, I haven't jinxed it or anything. So, actually we need to go to the opposite of this. Uh, that, that, that's one thing. We actually need to do the opposite thing that's plotted because controller. I swear I thought of this and put a controller upside down somewhere. But where exactly? Well, we took a little bit of extra time to get started with the burns, so we're not going to be able to correct all of the inclination here, but hopefully we can get a chunk done. Okay, we are now coming into dock here. And that should be good enough. There we go. Okay, so transferring fuel. And the Nerva sure needs a lot more than this, though. Oh, uh, stop that. Uh, we don't want to transfer it into this tank because this tank doesn't have any radiators on it. If we transfer it into that tank, it'll just get boiled up. Okay, I think that's more than enough liquid hydrogen to deorbit this, which we want, of course. Um, we'll, we'll keep that. This is more than halfway, but still, uh, let's see. Hopefully that'll be enough to push something or another. Um, on its own, it's got 7,311 meters per second. Basically, it's just going to be pushing... I don't know how that whole trans uh, Jovian Demon is supposed to work. It can't impart all 6,000 meters per second to get to Jupiter. After all, it has to stay around here, right? It has to be able to bring itself back down to a low orbit, so... I'm not too sure the whole Jovian Demon thing was properly thought out, to be honest. But anyway, let's bring this refueler back down. It's done its duty. Actually, let's use the main engines to do the retro burn. I suppose we do want to get it back close to the KSC, relatively speaking. So maybe we should wait. Gotta watch that closest approach distance, though. Don't want to smash into Nerva. We're gonna come close, but not in render range. Okay, that is fine. 
Actually, we can go a little bit steeper than that, I'm sure. I'll take the opportunity to arm the parachutes. Okay, we have entered the atmosphere. And hopefully we'll be back down soon. Because we have a lot to do still. Whoa, 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 whoa! The craft just flipped on me. That's not right. Well, obviously the tank exploded when the craft flips on you. Well, now we don't have a heat shield. And we're going engine side first. Did we run out of RCS fuel or something? I didn't even notice. I mean, re-entry takes a long time and... I might have been a bit negligent on the whole paying attention thing. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna get our value from this. I tested it out beforehand, right? We actually tested this system. It's very disappointing here. Well, there go the parachutes. I'm sure the engines will survive, but it's no good without parachutes. Well, I'm not sure that the engines will survive, it's just possible that the engines will survive. Hmm. SVL negative is the correct way to go. Oh well. Okay, well that was a bust. This has not been going well. I thought the last episode was also not going well. Things have not been going well. Very discouraging. Okay, here we are with the Joveport 1 launch and you'll note that it doesn't have a full load of food, water, and oxygen because then it'd be too heavy to get to Jupiter. So we are under supplied here, deliberately. We've lined up as best we can with the Nerve, Nerva Tug launch, or just Nerva Tug. And that's so that it can help us out if we need it, though we do have a lot of Delta V. But then again, we're trying to get into orbit around Jupiter. So, you know, every little bit helps. Maybe having the Nerva Tug do some of the burn for Jupiter will enable us to get into orbit around one of the moons. But when you think about it, uh, they'll be boil off on the S4B, so we can't use it around Jupiter. So it depends on how much we have left. Uh, we'll see. All right, so let's just run PG551. It might be just too much trouble to rendezvous this with the Nerva. And we could just use the Nerva for the transfer demon. I mean, the Jovian demon in this case. Okay, we have a launch. Don't really want the fairings to go at the same time as that, so separate those two out. Okay, we are past the sound barrier, now passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Okay, center engine has shut down. We've got 15 seconds left to go on this stage. Okay, S2 stage has a good ignition, 5 J2s are on. Okay, uh, dumping the fairings now. Clearly that was not in the launch script. Ah, I forgot. Uh, of course we need RTGs on this particular station rather than the normal solar panels. And so we've got little RTG pods to keep them well away from the residents. Uh, unfortunately, we could only fit the smallest crew cabin, so only room for two. It's hardly a station right now, but it does have a lot of docking ports, so, you know, there's that. Unless I modify the S4B, uh, S4B stage somehow with a docking port, I don't see how we can attach the Nervas to this. So. Yep, it's on its own. F 
unfortunately, it seems like we'll have about 6,600 meters per second to transfer to Jupiter, and then 2,695 to capture, so that should be enough. Oh, I guess, well, I mean, Nerva could, like, dock on one of these docking ports, but with the S4B stage still on it, that would not be a particularly great idea. And Nerva would have to do its burn first before the S4B. And it really doesn't matter, because the S4B with 6,600 should be able to take care of it on its own. If we wanted to use Nerva, we could probably send a heavier station, but this is a better start instead of trying to overdo things. Okay, and third stage ignition just to finish off orbit. We're practically there. Okay, that is orbit. Alright, so we'll just directly plot for Jupiter. Okay, we have our plot and it takes about as much delta V as we have, so that's convenient. So RCS on node Okay, let's make sure we're keeping an eye on the J2 because its icon doesn't actually change when it's unsettled. And just settle the fuel down. And timing is touchy, but I think it's okay to light here. For some reason on the single J2 stage, the game takes an awful long time to actually admit it's ignited doesn't have that problem with 5J2s, so it's a peculiar thing. Alright, well, it has ignited, and we are on our way. If the timing was right, then uh, it'll be node T-0 right when we get to 3,300 meters per second, and we'll see if that happens. Okay, well, we were clearly a little bit off, um, a little bit late on our burn, actually. Okay, well, we might need to have the payload actually finish this off. Actually, that probably means we've overburned anyway, and that's due to the bad timing. We'll just let this finish off and shut down, and let's see where we're at. Okay, we need 53 more meters per second. Let me lock the fuel up here. And that's basically empty. It's just uh, food, water, and oxygen in here that we have, which isn't much. I just probably forgot to dump that amount. We cleared this tank. So I can't imagine we really meant to carry much. But anyway, uh, locking that, we can just... I'll shut that down. And use these thrusters as much as we can before decoupling it off. Okay, I think we need to move on to the engines we have upstairs. So, let's decouple off the S4B stage for shut that all down. And of course, I should have unlocked those first. And that means, yeah, we're going to have to go to the tracking station first and then come back and do this. Darn it. Okay, well, it's not following the node, but that's probably all right in this case. Okay, so we will need a mid-course correction to fix our obvious inclination problem here. So let's figure that out. Hopefully you'll let me click our orbit to make a maneuver node. Mm, does not seem to want to let me click my orbit to make a maneuver node. Um, hmm. Right, well that's not acceptable, game. Let me see if Mechjeb can create a maneuver node. Match planes with target, create node. No, you have to be in the same sphere of influence. And I have other things to launch. Okay, well let's say we do it in Jupiter SOI. Which is not what I want to do. Because that's already too close to Jupiter. But okay, let's say we do that. 109 and then we capture and that costs how much 1266 well okay
yeah, that will be our plan then. And hopefully, maybe we'll get some assists from some moon or another to boost ourselves up. Io is the best case for that. But we'll figure that out once we get there. Four years, though. Long trip. Hopefully I'll remember what we're doing with this. Well, I mean, how can you miss a station, right? And it does have enough fuel to do some of what it needs to do over there. Okay, so it is on its way to Jupiter. Let's try and figure out the Jovian Demon. Okay, here we are again with the Jovian Demon, and... Um, I think I might just launch it without KOS, because... There's obviously some weird stuff going on with this particular rocket. And of course last time we had an ignition problem, which is not right. So yeah, let's uh, let's do this manually, I think. Throttle up, SAS is on, and we're relatively lined up with the with the Nerva tug. Okay, ignition. <laughs> okay, this time uh, pressing spacebar didn't even it didn't even ignite the F1 engine yet. Ah, I sense a problem. Let's just um, no recover. Rec uh, come on, you can recover, please. Uh, uh recover. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna launch the Jovian Demon. There's something funny with this particular mission. And the game crashed. Well, that, uh, that suggests that there were bugs beyond the normal kind. Okay, well, it looks like the Jovian Demon is still on the launch pad. Let's recover that. Uh, because if I actually turn to it and try and do a KCT recovery or something else like that, I'm afraid it's just going to blow up. Well, we recovered the funds. And that's that. I guess um, we should probably uh, call it quits here. It's been a, been a dodgy sort of episode. And in this case, I don't feel like it's entirely my fault. We lost the, the refueler vessel for, for our Nerva. And we had tested that. That had worked. It wasn't supposed to flip. It was capsule shaped for heaven's sakes. Maybe I should have pumped the fuel down or something. Maybe it was in the wrong tank, but I still feel like that was cheating me somehow. Uh, and then this whole business with the Jovian Demon. Uh, at least, uh, well, let's just double check that we've got our Jovian station on its way. It is a tiny little thing. It's hardly a station. It's more like a can with some snacks and uh, maybe enough fuel to capture around Jupiter, but that's about it. Uh, but next time we're going to focus on refueling, resupplying all of our, well, we've got two stations and one base to resupply, basically, is what we need to focus on. And I want to make sure that they're all set so that we can uh, turn our eyes to all the missions that are arriving at, well, especially the Mars ones. I mean, we do have this map sat and then uh, a Uranus mission here, a Uranus mission here. But that, 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 and that, and that, and that, and that, uh, and that are all arriving at Mars. So what we want is to make sure that our stations and our base have a year's worth of food, water, and oxygen. And I'm not going to bother with crew rotations. Uh, maybe we need better systems to resupply them, though we already have a lot built, right? So we might as well just use the existing... Um, Moonport resupply vessels that we have here in Spaceport resupply and um, I the quarter pounder is for the surface of the moon so we've got those ready so we might as well launch them but maybe I'll be designing new new stuff coming up but anyway Joeport one is on its way and on that note, we'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.